Oh, truly inspiring stuff. And to all our teachers out there, thank you so much for what you do on the daily. You are true heroes. And of course, just a note for you to know that that uh, insert was filmed before the national lockdown and before the precautionary measures and the prohibitions over the spread of the coronavirus were proclaimed by the president. So we're on the safe side of things there. As we remain on the safe side in the kitchen with Jamie Lee washing her hands, I've already done my due, my due duty. Uh, surfaces are clean. Things are looking good. Yes. And Delicious. Do you also feel like you're a scrub nurse whenever you wash your hands for 20 seconds? I feel like I'm going in for like Grey's Anatomy, like pass me the scalpel, pass me the... No? Okay, me. Sorry. Okay. A scrub what? A scrub nurse. Like a the... scrub nurse? Yeah. Is that what they're called? They, no, it's a scrub, but they're just in their scrubs. So, they just yeah. call them but nurses, in, they just scrub. But in, in scrubs, <laughs> cats, cats. Oh, I understand. You I'm get it sorry. Yes. I don't watch enough TV. Okay, uh, here we go. We're, we're going to make a, a, a collie make? pizza, yes. a deep dish collie pizza. And no, it's not all the hype, all the no carb type. We're talking beautiful, delicious comfort food for you to enjoy at home while you're sitting there enjoying your feel good breakfast show or you're watching your favorite series. This is something you want to make. Okay. Uh, Self-raising flour in a bowl is See? what you need. Our hero ingredient that we're using is, of course, our Clover Classic uh, Plain Flavor um, Dairy Snack. Mm. Dairy-based snack. We're going to have... Uh, it's a one-cup measure of this that we're going to get into that. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. That yogurt already looks so amazing. Just like that. Up. Okay, what are you doing there? Are you, a, are you a, a pizza person? Do you I like pizza? love pizza. Eh? Oh man, I love it. And especially when it's made well with that thin crust and it's just crunchy on the edges. Absolutely. And they, there's a nice balance of, of the filling or the topping in, in, in the case of a pizza. I am so down for that. Uh, does pineapple belong on pizza? That is a trick question oh, I want to really? ask you. Isn't that like how, how a lot of people judge their friendships these days? This is why I'm asking you. <laughs> I wanna for me, a um, pineapple can have its, its time in the sun. It can dance a little bit on top of a pizza if it wants to. You know, yeah. just as much as a, an avocado is allowed to do so from time to time. An avo is like an essential on a pizza. You must have it. But you asked me what I was doing. I am just smoring some onions over here. So You're smoring the onions? Yeah, I'm just making sure that it's nice and golden brown before we get onto. Because this is the filling. I'm going to be busy with the filling. Yeah. You're busy with the crust, the dough of it. So. Yeah, and so what you want is for a beautiful dough consistency that you will then finally press into uh, an oven pan or a oven proof pan like that or a baking tray like the one in front of me, right? Because that's where the filling is going to go into. And uh, don't worry if it looks too dry at the moment. Um, you're going to just massage it in there, make sure that all of the moisture in um, the wet ingredients mixes very nicely with the flour. And there you go, we'll get there. It just takes patience. Yeah, Good things take time. You, you just gotta, gotta get your elbow into I, it. I'm here. Yes. Me, I'm here with it. Don't worry. I'm here with it. <laughs> of course, our hero ingredient is our Clover Classic dairy-based snack. We're using the plain flavor, a delicious, smooth and creamy yogurt-based dairy snack made according to Clover's unique recipe. And it's a source of 10 vitamins as well, which makes it even better. Yeah, we're staying you... healthy for this lockdown. Absolutely. Definitely. How are you doing there? Can I, I was just going to say, I think it's nice and golden, so I'm going to mm -hmm. go in and uh, start with my uh, inside. So about we're going to throw some thyme in. So this is our spices. You can see it's the pratno, the porta pratno, my mine, eh? The porta pratno. So the time goes in. We're going to throw some nutmeg in as well. Lovely. Ooh. It's a beautiful fragrant with spices. Yes. So you have thyme and nutmeg. Thyme and nutmeg goes in right Smelling there. Smelling great already. Smell yeah, yeah. I'm throwing that. Okay, what else? The smell in then. We're going to throw some uh, self raising flour in. Mm hmm. So we're going to make a roux. Make a roux. Yes. Ooh. Making a roux. There we go. Very fancy terminology when you when you when you start talking about like you know like a, um, a roux and a beaumont and a bechamel. When you start saying stuff like that in the kitchen, people think, "Ooh, wow, <laughs> Jamie Lee can cook." Ooh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna invite everyone after this lockdown for a roux by my place. Meanwhile, I don't know what I'm saying. Just like roux, guys, roux. So we got that in. Is this roux enough? That looks roux enough for me. Is it okay? Yeah. So then you're gonna shall I add the milk for you? You please. Oh, thank you. There we go. Relax, it's okay. Adding it nice and slowly. You don't need yes. to back it up like that. <laughs> no, I was just scared for my. You must, you must work, work. Maak die pot work. Maak ons praat. That's right. There we go. Goed. Ooh, that looks good. Already. And along with this, by the way, SMS the keyword Clover to 33728. I'm going to add our double cheese. cheese yes. You can, throw, you can go with any cheese as well. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. using the chode. Depending on 
what yeah. kind of strength you like, and you're going to let that melt away. There you go. My mouth water. My mouth water, This cheese looks amazing. By the way, uh, okay. the salt and pepper you would have added to here as well. So mine is a little bit late to the party, but no worries. Still have time to mm, make it yeah. work. And we're going to turn up the heat a, bit of patience. a little bit. We'll definitely get there. Okay. So that I can just get it yeah, in. Yeah, just a bit more heat, a bit more heat, yeah. okay? And while you're doing that as well, I'm going to add our you cauliflower. And uh, relax, Jamie Lee. I'm scared. Hey, relax. It's all right, Listen, man. this is my money maker. If you <laughs> ruin the face, there's nothing left. <laughs> so there okay, you so go. I'm, I'm going to clear up in the meantime. This is what I wish I always had when it, when it comes to cooking. Don't you wish you always had like a sous chef who would be there cleaning up after you? Uh, yes. Or, or do no. you have that at home? No, I have Whenever you're cooking. I have mommy. I have mommy. Mommy's always okay. like, mommy's like, you cook, I clean. I clean, <laughs> you cook. So it's kind of like Hanina and she's my built-in sous chef. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Okay, good stuff. So it takes a bit of patience because you want to cook that nice and slowly as well, that right? That is good. Okay, so while we get this filling ready uh, and our dough nicely pressed into this oven dish, let's quickly take a look at how we got here and how we made this. Clover Classic, the creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover. Made with love by Clover. Absolutely simple, absolutely delicious. SMS the keyword Clover to 33728. So then... Will you with, help me? I uh, will. You're going to hold this. I'm going to hold this. And then I'm going to take it with both hands because this is Are just you sure? hot, yeah? Okay, so, good, good, good. So you're going you to scoop, it scoop in that in there. there, just allow it to do its thing. And then once you have all of your filling in and make sure you don't waste a single drop. Not at all. Because you've worked so hard to make sure that the cheeses have melted together, that that roux has turned into a it's bechamel. Oh, Ooh, yes. Wow. Yes, even if it just it spills over the sides a little bit, it's all right. It's all right. Yes, all right. It's and right. then what we... Uh, really? Do try and keep it at a level slightly lower than that. We, uh, we've overfilled this. But hey, you know what? All's well that ends well. Uh, you're going to get some cheese, extra cheese. Oh, it's fresh. Beautiful. Um, sprinkle it on top. And then, once you get this into your that oven, it's going to go for about 10 to 15 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. You want to crank it all the way up. Like, use the full power of your oven for the initial until you develop that golden crust on top like that. Because you want that color. You want mm. that color. And then once it gets the color, you're going to turn it down for about the last, let's say, 10 minutes. And then let it cook through nicely. And voila. <laughs> Voila. You know what? I'm always that person that wants to add on to anything. I would not take oh, away anything from this, word. but I would put in bacon. Bacon. Oh, that, oh gosh, that would, that would work like, so well. Like little big pieces bacon, of bacon. Yeah, bacon. Maybe some greenery as well. Yep. Some broccoli I would have added to this. Yeah. It's a great superfood. We talked about it earlier on as one okay. of the superfoods you should definitely have in your pantry or in your fridge I during know. this time. Easy enough? Easy peasy. What's the keyword? Cheesy. It is Clover to 33728 to get your hands on this recipe because I know everybody wants to get their hands on this. All right. Well, you also want to be getting your feet into our Espresso Friday dance coming up very shortly. The team's warming up. Tabzi and Kutle are looking right and ready. Serious faces. Okay, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. <laughs> Clover Classic, the creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover.